Okay, so where are we at? What are we doing? We are in Quartzsite, Arizona, and we're here. We're here to see a few things, but one of the things that we're here to see is High Jolly's tomb. Now, High Jolly. High Jolly. Well, High Jolly is kind of like the American way of saying his name. He was actually from Syria in 1856. Um, who's, the, who's, the, who's the Confederate president? Tom Cruise. No, the Confederate, the president of the Confederacy. Oh, Michael uh, C. Buckley. Jefferson, uh, Jefferson Davis. Jefferson oh, yeah. Davis, he was the Secretary of War in 1856. I thought he was a country music singer. And what he decided was that uh, since a lot of things were happening in the desert, that it would be easier to do transport and everything using camels in the desert. And so he, um, he imported like 50 camels into the U.S. and then this guy, Hi Jolly, was, Hi the, Jolly. Cam was the camel wrangler. So he basically would take care of the camels. So after, um, after the Civil War started up, then um, they just they just ditched the program and then High Jolly took care of the camels after High that. Jolly. So at some point in time the camels were released and so out in the Arizona desert for like years after that you might see a camel running around and something. There's there's none left anyways. Well, but they, why not? Save the camels. <laughs> what the hell? Well, we'd have to go back to the 1800s. You know what it is? Age, you know no, I know what it is though. They just started, they started smoking cigarettes. Oh, How that's, that? they'd walk a mile for a camel. Yeah, one of them was cool as fuck. Might be Joe, Joe Camel? No, Joe, Joe, Joe Cool. Joe Cool. Uh -huh. um, and so um, so the people of the town built a tomb for him, which is a pyramid-shaped tomb, and they put a, a little metal camel up at the top. And there's like that's a little, what tomb so, over there. what's going on over here? There's like a little... But this is a cemetery. Great. Oh, it's a cemetery. Oh, it's an overall cemetery. Yeah, it's a oh, cemetery. Okay. But, uh, well, that's but where, they, so this is where all the camels are buried. No, especially they're, the, out, they're out there. Well, then this one, this big thing here, though, that's where the cool camel is. And if you find those camels, they're just going to be like bones, if or that. or cool bones. Could could All be right, cool. Let's bones. go look at it. Hi, Jolly. Hi, Hi Jolly. Hi. So, just walking around this cemetery, I have come to the conclusion that I would never want to be buried here. I would never want to live here. I feel like the people that uh, spend their whole lives out in this specific area, they're really missing out on life a little bit. Just toss, toss it out there. There's a great big world, and you chose to live in a desert. I'm sure I'm going to get some hate on that, but that's just how I feel. All right, so we got done. We tried out all these little shops here. It's almost all just exclusively rocks and uh, tourist stuff, but it's cool. Uh, a lot of little unique things. Nothing that really stood out enough to me to buy, <laughs> um, but cool stuff. And also, hey, again, we got to see Ben, the uh, heavyweight champion bear of the world. It's kind of a cute little town, isn't it? Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. yeah it's cute. A little, little too much of a Let's Go Brandon t-shirts, but you know, <laughs> what are you gonna do? All right, so apparently now, uh, we are at a bookstore where a man was naked for many years. Yeah, so this is Reader, Reader's Oasis Books. And the owner, uh, his name was Paul Weiner, but he went by the name of... What about Paul Weiner? <laughs> no, uh, yeah, could be. Okay. But I think it was Weiner. <laughs> Uh, but he went by the uh, stage name of Sweet Pie. So actually, he was I mean, he was Paul Weiner. He was a performer. He was a uh, pianist. I think he was either from New Hampshire or Lynn, Massachusetts, somewhere okay. around that area. And he traveled around the country performing naked. That was his thing. But he ended up here, and this was his bookstore for years. So you could go in there at any given time. And uh, generally, he'd uh, he'd have like a ball bag on, and then that's about it. I came here one December. Um, and because it was cold, he was also wearing a sweater, which is weird to see a naked guy wearing a sweater, but <laughs> oh, you know, it is what it is. That's but, where your gimmick like consumes your everyday life to the point where you're like, ah, damn it, why was my gimmick being naked? So he, he died in 19, uh, in 19, in 2019. But you know, there's, it's still kind of a, like a cool bookstore because they have tons and tons and tons of old and out of print books. So you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and check it out. All right. Yeah, it's a cool place. It kind of reminds me of uh, growing up. There was kind of an antique store. It had a similar vibe, uh, which just like basically you just dig through a bunch of stuff and you will find some treasures. So it's a cool little little stomp off point. Dun 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 
Dun dun dun dun dun dun dun dun. Mega park. Look, dude. I just, this is phenomenal. I want more of this. And what I really want is next to it to be the Joe Biden or Hillary RV park. And there's just a constant, like, war between the two. Each other, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I got, but I gotta tell you, like, even as a cartoon, he never looked better than that. He looks pretty good, I gotta say. He almost looks like the Secret Service agent that's in charge of protecting him. But yeah. Yeah. I just, I saw this and I was like, that's it, Val. We're pulling over and I'm getting a selfie. <laughs> it's gonna happen. We're gonna get a double wide. That'll be the best double wide you've ever seen. You've never it's seen wonderful. such a great wide open park. That I can tell you, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful RV. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, so as we were driving by, uh, I saw Chester's, and I was like, well, what the hell is that? And Val's like, well, you were like, oh, it's all, you've never heard of it? It's a chicken place. And then you went and looked it up, and where's the one location in California? Oakhurst. Yeah, so like that's, why, Yosemite. that's why I've never heard of it before. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna try it. It's attached to a gas station called Love's. How could it be bad? How could it be bad? How could we maybe not ruin this entire three day trip with food poisoning? But, yeah. so we're gonna try out Chester's, go in there and uh, give it a shot. I'm a little hungry. Try some chicken. Yeah, then you can check out the rest on our explosive diarrhea episode. And maybe we'll find an, oh wait, you already saw that, the RV Trump Park. All right, <laughs> so I can't stop mentioning it. Alright, so we got our uh, chicken. Well, I got my chicken. I, I went for- I got chicken too, just a different part. Ugh. I went for a barbecue chicken sandwich and they didn't have barbecue, so I just got a regular chicken sandwich. You got- you tried to get li livers and, and gizzards, gizzards and, and- they didn't have lizard. Liver- who doesn't have liver? It's the most popular- but like what- it's not like it's- it's like 8 o'clock yes. at night and they ran out of livers. Very questionable you know? whether but or not it's that's- like, that's, our, that's popular, but- Yeah. So I have a this story too. hotter than hell. Mine came pre-made, by the way, which is a little questionable, but I have a story. So I went into the bathroom while you were waiting for your gizzard. And I walk in and I see this dude with like holes in his shirt washing his hands And I was like, oh, whatever. I think nothing of it. it's Arizona And so I go to the urinal whip out my penis guy next to me also whipped out his penis So we're both just sitting there ready to pee and this guy is just I hear him go Well, you can't wash your hands with WW40, right? And I think I'm like is the guy next to me his friend or something and the guy looks at me We look at each other and like we're like well clearly we don't know who this guy is <laughs> And so I turn and he goes he said it again, hey, you! And I'm like, oh, god damn it. And I'm like, I'm, my, my dick is in my hand right now. Don't fucking talk to me. Like, that is a, that is a rule of the <laughs> urinal. And I turn around and I look at him, and he points at a, a thing of W40 that's sitting there. WD40? WD40 there. I don't know yeah. the cars that well. But the oil to change your car. He goes, I bet you can't wash your hands with that, can you? And I went, no, I, I don't think so. And he goes, well, we'll find out. And I'm like, okay, and I'm sitting there, and then I like I hear him get up to leave. I turn and look. He grabbed it himself and he walked out. So it was his. It was oh he put it there. So so he's gonna go out into his car and try to wash his hands no, with WD-40. Like, he like he I don't understand. He went in there to pee, he set his own product down and went, look at how crazy that is. That that's the <laughs> That ain't the only thing that's crazy, buddy. Jesus. So, so here's the thing. So yours, yours was. So they they didn't have barbecue chicken. No. Right. Yours I got was, a regular. Yeah, it was under a heat lamp. But so I, I got resourceful and I asked him if there was any dipping sauce for the for the. Um, yeah, and you got barbecue. Yeah, and so I got barbecue. So you can make a barbecue sandwich out of. I'm guessing sandwich. that these are just pre-made then, through and through. Like at least the chicken sandwiches. They probably. Well, get I think they I think they are using the the the, the fryer there, but you know. Are who knows they how, though? Yeah. But then where the hell is their barbecue sauce? Did you sauce? see their fire was all covered with like, like, uh, oh God, hold flowers. On. I gotta, I gotta no, get... no pickles? No, there is. Uh, trust me, I'll find they it. They put them on the bottom? There we go. Oh, Dude, okay. Disgusting. They didn't fucking... put anything else like mayo or anything else on it? Uh, not really. You know what? It feels like it's just butter. Okay. Like it's just like a little bit of butter and the pickles. You're going to get it. some pickle juice in there. It looks like they kind of soaked Unfortunately, into the Unfortunately, yeah, that seems to be the case. Let's scrunch it. Ugh. Looks like a nice bun. Yeah, it's... I don't know, it's not worth the, the five dollars, almost six dollars though. I not feel. for that, yeah. No, all right. That's kind of tiny. I'm dry as hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, these awesome are like, like, feel how hot these are. And they just did them, they took them forever. Oh my yeah. god, you're gonna burn your fucking mouth. Yep, yes I am. I wanna do that. From now on, I'm gonna go into urinals with weird products. Just put them on the counter. And go, hey, wouldn't it be weird if I washed my hands with this? You can't wash your hands with grape jelly, can you? Whoa, it's so crazy. Let me grab that thing I put there now. This might help. This will help immensely. It's so fucking dry. <laughs> oh my God. You're just going to dip? Yep. Fuck it. Let's dip it. All right. Oh yeah. Immediately better. Better? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So maybe mm-hmm. their maybe their barbecue chicken sandwich would have been good. Yeah, it looked good. Man, this thing is dry. So as the thing is, is I asked them for a for a dipping sauce for the gizzards, but I would not dip gizzards in barbecue sauce. Like I would go with ranch or something if I was going to be dipping gizzards. But uh, I got to try one of these. But I'm gonna... dipping gizzards sounds like you're you're going <laughs> to a, like a gay hostel. <laughs> yeah. Well, by Saturday night I'll be. Hey everybody, gizzards. Val's here. Time to dip a gizzard. <laughs> All right, guys, drop trial. It's gizzard dipping time. That is much better with the barbecue sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. immensely. All right, are you going to burn your mouth? Yes, I am. Well, the thing about gizzards is you got to chew them, right? So it's not like one of those things you can like just put it in your mouth and just get down really fast. Um, you got to chew them because gizzards are the chewiest part of, of um, giblets. Yeah. The giblets are usually the hearts, the gizzards, and the livers. Um, they... I think you're speaking a bunch of giblish. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's going to be hotter than hell. Uh, hot, hot, <laughs> I told you that. hot. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. Is it how hot? Oh, that looks disgusting. That's way too hot. Ah! Oh. Oh, mm-hmm. nope, I'm tapping. <laughs> it's hot. No, it's not the heat. Oh, the flavor? No, it's just, it's like chewing on rubber. Mm hmm. F that. <laughs> Mm. It's a working part of a chicken. But flavor is really good though. The the meat that's around it is kind of tender. It's really flavorful and I like that that crunchy uh, coating on it. What would you rate these? Oh no, I'm not even, I can't. I took a bite, I didn't even chew it, so I'm not gonna rate them. I, I wouldn't be fair. I thought maybe it was an FU. Wouldn't be fair. Okay. Right. I might give it a three. Not bad. I mean, I've had better, mm. but it's not bad at all. Uh, the chicken sandwich, as as it was, it was just like a like a three out of five base chicken sandwich, whatever, with the barbecue sauce. I'd up it to like a four. Mm-hmm. Um, but come on, just get Popeyes. Come on, <laughs> let's be honest with ourselves here. Even the KFC chicken but, sandwich is well, pretty you've good. Well, you had them before, and you never had Chester, so you know that was. The and thing yeah, that so you had we, to did, give it a try. we did Chester, so there you go. And that guy, <laughs> oh, what the, the fuck w- was Mr. wrong w- with w- that 40. guy, dude? I just want to set down like a statue of a unicorn and go, isn't it weird that there's a unicorn in the urinal? While you're grabbing your penis, you should turn around and talk to me. I think maybe he, that's his Speaking way. Speaking of a unicorn. Maybe that's his way of seeing penises without it being awkward. Like that's his kink. He just loves seeing people pee at the urinal. Who knows? But hey, either way, we're moving on. Oh, hot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> It's a sign of changing times when uh, Sega, arguably one of the earliest video game developers, leaves the arcade machine <laughs> market. Okay, we do have the ability to grab that health at least, but I need to get into a car first. Oh god, I hope that I can find a car right away. Well, I can't. I, she's invincible. Django Unchained, when he says, uh, he tells the, the help to say goodbye to the wife, say, say goodbye, and then goodbye, he shoots her, she goes, woo! <laughs> Bye, awesome car, I'll miss you. Oh, they arrested me! Wait, no, they didn't! Oh, God! Oh, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. I did that very incorrectly. Reckless eating! Reckless eating!